Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Last Minute Rundown. I'm Deviant Dario. I'm Infinite One. I'm Vincenzo the Conqueror. And today we're going to be talking about Star vs. Steven Universe. And not going to lie, I'd never expected them to bring these two together. Woo! Especially since I am not... I did watch two seasons of Star. So I'm a little more prepared for this one and... Wow, this is going to be a weird one. <laughs> it's going to nothing but magic, and it's basically magic versus crystals, in a matter of speaking, but we'll get to that. So I know there was one guy who was, like, begging for this death battle to happen, and once it finally was announced, he was just like, I fucking called it! Yeah, after, like, a year and a half. But... I I'm sure... Yeah, I know. Yeah, and I'm here, too, today, because freaking Infinite, like, set, gave me a bunch of crap for not being in the last one, so... Wait, I gave you crap for what? <laughs> I heard you in the video when I watched it going like, because Vinny's not here today. And I am just starting this right away because Vinny is taking forever. I don't recall that. I could be wrong, but I mean, like, I think it was the one, let's see, what was it? I'm uh, automatically on your side just because I'm going to fact yeah, check this. I, I know you, I know you are. <laughs> it was the one that you did with Blackjack when she was here. The, right, Mikasa right, right. and Blake. Anyway, let's continue on. <laughs> Fourth wall, fourth wall <laughs> okay, before I All lose right, myself. So star. All right, Star. Uh, Princess of Muni, she is a Mewman because everything has to start with Mew, and that's pretty much right to know from there. They'll go more into her backstory, and we're just more about her powers. But she's basically a 15-year-old girl who uh, is of royalty and has a magical wand that is basically based off of more or less their imagination and can conjure up whatever they can think of like and one of her or should i say one of my favorite abilities that she does is where she just summons a bunch of narwhals and just attacks the enemies at once that being said <laughs> once they are once they do come into existence and they do their thing they kind of just poof out from existence so i don't know if they just yeah. alive die yeah okay good job continue yeah basically <laughs> i kind of consider that just her narwhal kamehameha basically yeah <laughs> i mean I'm it's effective it i mean <laughs> it's effective and 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 and, and, and come on, it's 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 a freaking wave of narwhals. How, how can I, you not? <laughs> I feel like I mean, they took hey, a few attacks from Dragon Ball Z because <laughs> you also have Jelly Bean Hallucination, which my mind automatically just goes to Janemba. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> that, that show alone uh, is so terrible. trippy. The, 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 the lines, oh my God. I can go forever into just the, the, the freaking... <laughs> the lines that they use and the references so they even at one point even reference um what's his name there was a famous um they reference serial killers i kid you not they'll go that deep <laughs> wait they reference serial killers in a kid show yes um what was his name charles manson that's who it was <laughs> i will put the clip <laughs> what's the little wi what's that wizard dude um who helps i can't forget his name <laughs> but uh the, basically star has um this uh wizard who helps her out um uh, from time and time again and he lives he lives in the spell book that she carries it with her where she oh, glossary, glossary. glossary thank you i couldn't think of his name and he just straight up says um this one <laughs> this <laughs> I'm going to put a clip in a little bit, but uh, there was this one famous um, interview with Charles Manson where he was just random. He was just rambling. He was like, do you feel blame? Are you mad? Do you feel like Rushka Bob Bob Ramesh? And they straight up took that exact line and put it in the show. I'm like, oh, oh my God, we're going there. Are you some kind of training thing? Are you mad? Is this Wolf Kebab Rock Bandage? Stop, 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 stop. Do you feel blame? Are you mad? Uh, do you feel like Wolf Kebab Rock Bandage? Get Frantic Bunch Bunch Boogie to be a Ramesh? Get to 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 for children on. is happy tree friends oh yeah i also <laughs> don't know what's going on with these like tv shows recently that have been coming out like gravity falls steven universe like star i need to watch that shows that start off like innocent and humble but then they get to these super dark weird ass freaking topics and like you know freaking steven's his own mom and he learns that her mom's like a freaking psychopath and then in gravity falls it's actually about this freaking diamond dude with one eye who wants to like conquer the universe and it's just like my god 
Yeah, it's a freaking mess. For, like for, 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 and, and that's putting it lightly. I mean, hell, it basically started yeah, with this whole you, globe. Way, I'm just saying, like, sorry if any of piss anybody off by being a very vague, very vague descriptions of these shows. They're actually a lot better than what I described. Oh, don't worry. When we, we, we're pretty much in the same freaking boat when trying to describe this, because when we're really, when we're starting to look into certain characters that we didn't even know about and doing stuff we didn't expect them to do, it's like, yeah, no, I don't know how we're going to work this in. <laughs> Alright, so some of what Star can do besides her regular magic is plant manipulation, time manipulation, weather manipulation, telekinesis, electricity manipulation. She can manipulate a lot of things. Theoretically, yeah. reality manipulation at, at best. Basically. If she actually tried, she literally can just warp reality. She's almost Scarlet, uh, Scarlet Witch level of reality bending if she really put her mind to it. It's I mean, just are we gonna include? Are we, is her most powerful form with her wand or in her butterfly form? Uh, um, yes, and with both, really. She still relies on her wand regardless, but when she is in her form, it takes up more magic, and it does pretty much tie her out real fast. I mean, the more she's used to the form, she can just use it more in and out, off and on kind of stuff. But when she does use a, I forget the name. They don't really give much names to all her spells but her more powerful spells were just straight up like just energy blasts <clears throat> mm -hmm. like she'll try to use them mainly in her um uh, uh um like to really get the job done she'll use it in her uh uh, uh, mu uh muni form where she's like the full butterfly thing and that thing has been powerful enough to take out what was it a uh, toffee in one blast just render him down to his freaking skeleton <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And if I remember right, like, isn't he supposed to be technically immortal? Uh, yeah. Or I mean, he course. relies mainly on regeneration, but I mean, he's durable enough to. I mean, it, I think it technically um deactivated his um regeneration ability too. So that's also oh, yeah, something to keep in mind. They don't really oh, directly yeah, say it. Yeah, they got that. So, ugh. oh boy. Yeah. So when you have a spell that can also uh debuff other magic that's something that can be very useful <laughs> yeah yeah that kind of that might i don't know if it's like you know regeneration based but that might counter steven's like automatic kissing healing ability if that's the case hmm depending because the crystals are a little bit more complicated because it's not exactly magic right it's well well when we get to well, that that's alien race but then to that in a little bit yeah, that one's gonna. That's a little funny one to understand because I tried l watching that show myself. But yeah, but before we get to that, let's stick on we'll to Star. Finish, we'll just we'll just finish <clears throat> Star up real quick. No, um, 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 my bad guys, I'm sorry. Oh, uh, it's all good. <laughs> We're just all talking nonsense. That's the point. That's the point. You're doing a good job. I just want you to know that. Okay, thank you. <laughs> anyway, um, with freaking Star, um, besides the fact that she does rely on her wand for her magical abilities, and she does have she is capable on her own without it she literally was, was taught to be say, um she, pretty much be a fighter without her wand, right? yes and no but she really doesn't even need to she literally can okay, just just karate chop her well not even karate chop she just whatever this muni martial arts they, i'm sure they had a specific name for it but she basically knows hand-to-hand -hand combat and so flawlessly and easily it's kind of just child's play to her and that's literally how she is. She sees everything like a game to the point where she just has fun with it. <laughs> that I mean, I've seen her straight. I've seen her straight out like knock out the large creatures with a single punch. So she's got to have some power in that punch of hers. Oh, yeah, her striking strength is about a large building class plus. Yeah, because her well, her race is a little weird. Well, not weird, but only because her mother, being a queen and a powerful uh, muni like Bean, the father is also a barbarian like being at, at in their race but which also has super strength so she could definitely inherit that so merging two together making her a pow powerful uh powerful force <laughs> yes very pow pow powerful force yes yes and especially how her father is he's just a nut he loves war 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 but only enough where he won't go he's aries race. aries but tamed aries <laughs> okay fair enough she has a high stamina level, and she does. Have, she also does have a um, a healing factor, a regeneration factor. Yeah, but oh, it kind of it's mainly it's also based on her wand, on her magic yeah. abilities, and so she can but run out of mana. But, that... but and it's weird because. 
basically she can just Lily recharge it like like they went to a magic store and got and it was a whole episode where she had to get a charger. It's it it it's weird. <laughs> Honestly, it's just Disney's version of Green Lantern. Let's just let's just let's just say that. <laughs> you know what? Fair. But yeah, like, but I don't know. Like to come up, come up with their own freaking lantern, oh, freaking like in stars and bubbles and purple stripes. <laughs> <I don't> know. <laughs> you know what? They pro. I, I I wouldn't be surprised if that is one of them. Like she will literally just come up with anything, and she doesn't even have to. There has been times where when she has been so deep into the situation where she doesn't even have to say anything. She can just wave her wand and just think the spells. So, it also depending on the situation, um, she is powerful enough to blast basically a freaking mountain right off its freaking, right off the freaking planet. I'm sorry, Mr. Mountain. Uh, she, and at, and at one point where she didn't think she had enough power to take on a certain enemy, I think it was Meteora, who was, um, uh, if anyone watched the show, she was basically, uh, the head of, uh, the school, <laughs> that puts all these princesses in check and she got to a point where she got a lot of power and she kind of abused her uh father's side of the family's abilities where she's basically like this ogre kind of thing and she was actually beating star and we got to the point where star in her muni full power muni form where the, the <clears throat> she couldn't even beat her she was actually having trouble so she decided to just release all of her energy at once leveling not just the entire area but the freaking cast not the castle um what well, might as well be a castle it's the it's like this hogwarts like school that they're in and she just completely levels it and at the same time almost blinding um meteora who i say it was about probably about like a good 10 12 feet tall they made they wanted to emphasize she's like a freaking ogre at this point i think she was even bigger than that like it's quite impressive yeah I mean, it still didn't, like, fully beat her, but it was definitely enough to uh, 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 stagger her for a while until, uh, uh, the spoiler, her mother showed up and ended the fight. <laughs> yeah, I mean, to... oh, go ahead, Infinite, my bad. No, I was just, just going to go over a little bit, like, extra stuff. Like, she has other other equipment that she has other than her wand are her dimensional scissors and her, and her sword. Oh, which... yeah, that's true. Okay, her multi, what her with her, uh, her dimensional scissors, multiversal, um, with her strongest spells can blow up universes. I just want to point that. I just want to leave that little bit of information out before we finish up with her. Universe breaker, and I think even universe regenerator or creator too. Like I haven't got to finish the show, but I think that has been applied where she had to repair some parts of the universe. I mean, hell, they literally have. A character that is Lily, his own universe, who kind of is just chilling with them. <laughs> oh yeah, like whatever spatial magic council dude. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. That guy's cool. I mean, like in terms of magic and like character design, I really like that guy. Yeah, the implication of how sh of how strong they can be, almost like Eldridge kind of level, but still mm -hmm. on their side. <laughs> Now, uh, okay, so anything else about, I mean, we can consider that thing that she did against Meteora, uh, like her, oh, it's like her last resort sort of thing, right? Yeah, from, from what I can find on her, there's really no other known forms that I've found. I think that's really it. <clears throat> she mainly relies on her magic. She goes to her most powerful form, which is that Muni Butterfly form. The, I cannot talk, excuse me butterfly form and then she can just self-destruct it but that being said once she releases all that power she loses the form goes back to her human form and has to needs time to recharge her uh wand um i think it also drains her stamina as well so her herself is weak so unless someone's with her to help get her out of there quick she's definitely put herself in a bit of a um an open situation so it's definitely something she has to really consider if she's going to do it if it's not an insta kill move then she, she might be her go her yeah death i'm too. pretty sure she has to like re regenerate herself or at least um 
restore some kind of stamina before she continues after using that form. Yeah, she would have to any major she, attack afterward. Yeah, she would have to flight at that point. But um, that being the case, that's probably not going to be the case. So that's probably going to be the most of her feats. Um, and that's really it. All right, shall we move on to Steven? Moving then? over to Steven. Moving Mo- over to Steven. Moving yeah. over to Steven. All right, well, hell, hold on. I got, I got to do his freaking intro because I just love his freaking song so much. We are the Crystal Jam. You know, I'm Come gonna on, get all, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this if anyone makes it this far. But I tried watching the show, and I don't know if it was because I was tired, <laughs> but I fell asleep like five minutes in. I don't know if it was just me like couldn't get into it, or if I was just tired. You're a monster. All Thank the you. above. <laughs> My goodness, how can you not like you know enjoy? Oh, okay, you know what? To be fair, it's all. I mean, I feel like with like I said with like Gravity Falls and all and Star Wars and Steven, those first episodes are pretty dull. I mean, you know, I mean to that to your credit, but I mean after that, I mean come on, man. I mean, maybe I just need to start shows in like the second season or something. Maybe. <laughs> I mean, hell, I mean, to be fair, like, he was able to summon a shield through a freaking cookie cat. I'm not. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I did not give it a lot. Okay. There's a lot of information. <laughs> then again, when you're talking about, we're dealing with Disney logic against Cartoon Network logic, and that one's going to be a lot harder to work with. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. So, are we going with, like, Current Steven, like from Steven Universe Future, are we going with that? Um, yeah, why? I think that'd be safe I mean, to say because they're definitely going to want to use him at his best. For, yeah, yeah. Un- unless they use him in his kid form, which I can't see them doing because he has the uh, teenage form of him. Mm, that is very true. But at the same time, are we also, just to be clear, are we including the, his fusion since technically those are his abilities as well? Can he use them without, like, can he just yeah. carry the gems with him? Or, because that's, that's one thing I haven't been able to figure out, because it's technically a solo battle, but I know that he would rely on his allies, those, the gems, whatever. But are I mean, they considered people? Or the, I, I don't even know how this works. It's weird with them. Can he, can I, he just carry them like freaking Pokemon? I mean, to be fair, in the season <laughs> finale of Steven Universe, the gems were, like, KO'd for a while. They were falling. And Steven was, like, falling after them, and he was able to fuse with them without them being, you know, in their forms. Basically, he fused with them to get them out of their form. So, technically, he could carry the gems in his pocket and fuse with them if he wanted to. Okay. So, let's, let's assume that he has them in his pocket. All right. So, we are going to include them. Okay. If that's yeah, the case, because we, we, want, we, want to, we want to, we want to, we want to um, base it on... Well, can it happen? If it can happen, then it probably would happen. Mm-hmm. He's probably going to need it too. So, assuming yeah, they I would do. give him that ability. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, if that's the case, then he's got multiple forms that he can go into, which I believe, if I remember the forms right, is like the one with amethyst is smoky quartz. The one with pearl is rainbow quartz. And the one with Garnet is Sunstone, and then all of them together is Obsidian. Ooh. And I'm guessing um, that he can go in between them whenever he wants? Well, he yeah, he can fuse and defuse whenever he wants to. Has he, then, has like, he ever is there a cooldown? Um, it does take concentration, and if he does lack in that concentration, he can accidentally unfuse. Okay, that's understandable. So if he overdoes it, I guess just makes a mistake. You know what? This really is a lot like the DBZ fusion in a way. (laughs) Has he ever been knocked out of a fusion? Like he's been beaten so bad that they just punched him back. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, well, I'm not sure him specifically, but the other gems have been, like, in fights to the point where they have been, like, you know, where they get knocked out, and then they poof, and then they 
become those. So it's safe to assume. So it's safe to assume that yes, it, it, it's it, quite possible that it could happen. Yeah, but no, when so they do I, poof, um, sorry, really quick. But when they do poof, I know most of them. Besides, I think one of them who can easily regenerate like on the spot. Yeah, yeah, most yeah. of them take a while to regenerate. Like I know one of them took like a week or something once yeah, they're set into crystal. Pearl does take a while, and then there's garnet. Now the only tr thing is, is that the trick is with the fusions is when they when he did fuse with them in just their gem form, they came out back out in their form. So are we kind of discounting their gems as a one time use? Because then afterwards, then it's not really a, then it's more of a team battle after he unfuses. I mean, is it possible for him to abuse it? Like has or is it really like a one time thing? I'm kind of throwing his personality into this, and I'm gonna say no, he would not do that. Okay, so then it's safe to say then it would be treated more as a one time use thing. Yeah, so if he really does want to like have like the best chance against against Star, then he would have to fuse with all of them at once to make Obsidian, which is a Beast of a freaking gem. I mean, oh my god. <laughs> it sounds like it's going to come down to Obsidian versus Star's butterfly form. I mean, to be fair, Steven does have his uh, other forms he has by himself as well. He has this... Yeah, but Obsidian uh, sounds like the main thing. Yeah. And I'm, I would say it is his most powerful, yes. But he does also have this like massive kaiju form when he got really out of shape. It, uh, <laughs> interesting. That's right. He was yeah, he, he, he when his heart or whatever just got corrupted. The crystal, I mean. Yeah, he got exactly. He got corrupted and became this giant monster, which could even take on the other three diamonds. Oh, okay. So and that's just on his own. Yeah, that's on his own. But that's when he's like really messed up. So I'm not sure if he would get to that point. But, I mean, if we really are including all of his powers, that is something that we cannot leave out. They're probably, I mean, I do would want to talk about it, but they're probably not going to because we have seen multiple times that it, the char most characters that have gone through forms like that don't even, they don't even mention it or even show it at all during the fight. Like, what was the last fight that we thought they were going to do that with? Um, with uh, Ryoko versus Shadow, um, they mentioned Ryoko... Um, uh, had like a beast form if her uh, 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 suit uh, drained too much blood. And they mention it, and then they don't even use it. So as much as I want to, I don't know if they they probably won't use it. I think the reason why they didn't do that is because they wanted to prove that Shadow could hit fast enough before it could happen. True, true. Mm. So what would trigger... Okay, so then here's, here's my question. What would trigger his corruption? Like, how did that happen for the show, then? He basically murdered somebody. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> this went from no, one to a hundred real fast. Basically, basically, what he did is that he fought this uh, gem named Jasper, who was helping you control his new pink form. And in his pink form, he goes fucking, like... He goes serial killer vibes. If you Pink is blood. Out. I'm sorry. I'm done. And he, just, <laughs> and he shatters her, which is basically murder in the gem culture. Oh, wow. And then he basically, like, rushes back to his home, puts all the air pieces in the bathtub, and puts all the uh, diamonds powers together to basically bring her back to life. So he's now he's basically Crystal Jesus. Um... I mean, and then he's like so messed up about it because he just straight Bristol up murdered Jesus. <laughs> I mean, oh, yeah, yeah, he really I mean, is. If you can bring someone back from the dead, I think you can consider them Crystal Jesus. <laughs> I mean, it could be Crystal Frankenstein. I mean, true. Or Crystal <laughs> Dragon Balls. I don't know. Crystal Shenron. Crystal Shenron. Yeah, you know what? He turns into a giant kaiju, like I said, so who knows? Maybe Crystal Shenron. <laughs> We're doing this. <laughs> Why not? Uh, all right. <clears throat> so yeah, so he uh, can make I... he can make shields and um. He can make bubbles, bubbles and... yeah, and he has. He also makes bubbles around his fists to kind of which you know he uses for punching. And he can expand them at will no. too. Yeah, he's he's done that. He makes the bubbles. Basically, I thought the he used them for like... kicking. But he's also in New Universe Universe Fruit Future. Future. He uses them for punching. He makes like 
shields. He makes like, you know, spiked versions of his bubbles, fists and all that stuff. So, I mean, like he, he's really matured in his powers, man. Yeah. I mean, right. granted, it definitely sounds like his imagination is still very bubbly. Well, yeah, compared to Star's imagination, he's... Shut up. I, I wasn't going anywhere, but okay. <laughs> oh, I, I, I wasn't... I, I was like, wait, was anybody about to say something? <laughs> no, I just hate his pun. Introdu oh, wait, did he say a pun? I, I don't know. I, I, I yeah, have he, a... He did. He, 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 he knows what he did. Oh, I, I do. I just got it. Oh god damn it. <laughs> I got this really like, yeah, this imagination is a little bubbly. Oh you Oh, you should feel bad about that one. <laughs> I don't care. I'm uh, no regrets. All Your right, opinion is bad and you should feel bad. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I mean if I make him feel bad, he may not have me back for another debate. <laughs> oh. Oh no, we will. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Nearly just dropped my sword on the floor. Oh, boy. <gasps> How dare you. But For context, right, if everybody so. knows me, I got a new sword. <laughs> so, um, basically, he can... Like, is there anything else he can... Is there like, anything that major feat that he did, like, strength-wise, or... Uh, I mean, I don't, know if you, I don't know if you want to count him, like, you know, being able to change his body shape. Kind of like he can shrink and grow. I, I mean, that's... Like, that's useful. Yeah, I mean, like, he can, like, shrink to dodge attacks or, like, maybe... Grow. Just... To oh, wait, he can, with... uh, he can levitate. He can, like, you know... Okay, that's somewhat fair. Gravity so... Somewhat gravity defined. Like, he basically... It, I, I've never... I don't really know his full ability with that, but basically, like, there was one time where, like, his dad got kidnapped by a spaceship, and he, he like... J jumped in the air and was basically like basically flying, and he was at least a couple thousand feet in the air. All right, in the span of a few seconds. All right, like he went way above like the temple's height, like uh, like where the gems reside. He like went boom. He was like way up there. So I don't know if. You want to account for like you know how fast he can like you know do that sort of thing. How durable he can take that much speed at once. That is definitely a factor. <laughs> oh, his durability is surprisingly strong as well because, uh, based on what when he went to like a doctor or something, basically his body regenerates as soon as it's hurt. Really? Yeah, he like apparently because apparently he has so like these instant oh, he healing. Pretty much because. When, like the doctor said, like basically, he let's say he got punched in the face, he would have like a facial fracture, like those marks after they got healed. Yeah. Basically, they're perfectly healed, so it's like they basically healed as soon as they happened. Oh wow! So he sounds like he has a better healing factor than Star. Star much faster, if, yeah. Yeah. If well, Star Star would have to deal with a very harsh blow to even, I mean, like. If you you said if you like break the gem, they basically die, right? Yeah, basically. And and the gem's on his stomach, if I remember. Yeah, uh, but it's weird because while he was somewhat dying, they did remove his gem from his body. Okay, so it can be detached from him. Right. But that being said, once it is destroyed, just it, 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 he, so he would basically would be defeated regardless if it was attached yeah, or but... not. Even if you take the gem out, he would be defeated technically because then, well, then his gem would become his own being and try to get back into Steven. Interesting. Okay. So it's kind of like a defense mechanism if it's removed, but if it's destroyed, I, th I assume it's just destroyed like any other gem. Yeah. All right. All right. So that makes sense. So basic with him, that's literally the he is. The most obvious boss battle weak weak point destroyed the glowy gem. <laughs> yeah, that's that's this. Unfortunately, his although he has taken punishment there quite a bit, but I'm not sure about ranged attacks because for the most part he's just taken physical blows. So I don't know about Star's ranged attacks how they would affect him. That's true. Range and a lot of el elemental based stuff. I mean, granted, I'm sure Steven has taken his fair share of that, but. An onslaught of that and a bunch of narwhals being thrown at him in the process, that's definitely going to be interesting. 
I have a yeah, feeling I the, I have a feeling you might get a little cracked by uh, the narwhals or horns. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure how you do against a narwhal Kamehameha. I'm not sure. I don't know either. So, I'm not going to lie, I was more favored towards Star, but knowing a little bit more on Steven, it's more 50-50. Like Steven. I mean, more for Steven, but only because of his healing factor, but I feel like that might... I yeah. feel like he still has an, a disadvantage on of the fact that he has an obvious vulnerability. I don't know, it, it, it seems obvious enough for me, you know what I mean? Like, we're talking about a, a person that... Yeah. I mean, yes, if you try to hurt him on any other means, like any other per like, uh... I, I just lost my choice of words. Jesus. Um, uh, if you try to kill him conventionally means, it won't really work. But obviously, all you have to do is target and attempt to damage his crystal. That's it. I'd say that's a weakness that... I mean, we are going with the fact that... Are we taking... We're taking their personalities out of the question right they're just going with sheer who would win in depth in the I would, fight i would death. i would think so because they throw morality out the window mostly but yeah. we'll, we'll play it safe and say they are all right well uh i'd say if star i it's really hard because i really like i really like steven but i'm trying not to be biased um if i'm being honest all Star really needs to do is get one good shot at the gem, and then Steven's done. So, I mean, if, are, we, are we casting our votes now? This is I would. Yeah. Um. As much as I want to say Star, I, I, I honest, I, I, it's still fifty fifty for me because I don't know why. I am favoring I, Star, but from what I hear, it can go either way. Well, I believe it's also situational. If you really think about it, I mean, like, I just feel, but at the end of the day, I still feel like Star has more opportunities to take down Steven. Because a lot of his, a good amount of his abilities are more time based than Star's, which is like how what, uh, I believe Internet said earlier, can basically just shoot the stuff out whenever she wants. True. Quite literally. So, he's, um, and the last. And the last time I didn't go with my gut feeling, my record got broken. So I'm just going to go with my original gut feeling after looking into them before finding everything out. I'm just going to go with Star because <laughs> she has more of a range. And it still blows has... my mind how you, how you, that you picked Mikasa over uh, Blake. <laughs> you picked Mikasa? I only picked Mikasa because of the uh, what was it, the Thunder Spears originally. I, I had oh, no I, idea. I yeah, I'm sure, and that's God, why Blake picked them. <laughs> Spoiler. I swear to God, I swear to God, I thought you were about to say Thunder Thighs. No, that's Nora. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Nora <laughs> <laughs> uh, offered pauses, yay! So, <laughs> all right, but um. You know, now that I more think about it, you definitely have a point there. Um, Star has a lot more of an advantage compared to Steven. Steven is definitely more, is going to be more on the defensive than the offensive. Yeah, he's really got a shield. Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah, he's going to be more the defensive, and Star is going to be just throwing nothing but onslaught of attacks. And with her, she's going to be more well and trained and, and balancing out her spells, too. For the most part, she's going to be as chaotic as she wants, but in her own sense. But she's definitely going to make it difficult for him. Yeah, I can just see, I can just see a spell gem breaker and just hits him with it. And he oh dies. god, drill! <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna just summon the unic. She's gonna just summon a unicorn or a narwhal to just drill through that thing. That's all. Narwhal she's gonna, drill breaker. She's gonna wall. she's gonna light the um. She's just gonna light the rainbow on fire and call it a day. Oh god, I love that. That's that's. I just gotta say that's immediately what got me hooked on the show. Lily, a friend of ours, is like, you need to watch this. Why this girl sets a rainbow on fire? I'm like, show me. <laughs> <laughs> Twice right, yeah, in one my, episode. My <laughs> But ultimately, yeah, uh, my money is also on Star. Uh, sorry to go with the group, everybody, but yeah, ultimately, I just feel like she would have more opportunities to mortally wound Steven because of his gem weakness. So yeah, I'm, 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 my money's on Star. All right. Um... All right. Now, 
now tomorrow now the winner of the death battle is going to be Steven. That that we all said star. But yeah. <laughs> Jinx Oh yeah, no. It's <laughs> let's not. Big shut up. Yeah, I got some I got some I got a wood table next to me. Hold on. There we go. We knocked on wood. Not three more for us. Well, two All more right. for us. One, Excuse two, me. Three. One, two, three. There you go. Did one. Did some for each of you. I cannot see the maths, but thank you. <laughs> All right. So I think that's good. Um, we definitely had a decent amount of time to discuss these two. Um, a little vague, but considering we're talking about a Disney character versus a Cartoon Network character, I think we did pretty well. And um, I, you know what? We definitely learned a lot on uh, on these guys. My God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could say that. Reminder: One show has references Charles Manson. <laughs> Jesus, I'm going to show you that clip once we're done. Don't worry. <laughs> I know you, you will. For, play it for your audience as well. Uh, I am. I'm inserting it. <laughs> All right. Um, thank you again, guys. Um, this has been an interesting one, but um, I'm I'm definitely curious to see where this goes. Um. Um, I want to thank you again to ha uh, our guest today. Say hi and bye. Hello. Uh, all right, guys. Sorry, I'm just like really out of it at the same time. I really had fun with this. Um, I'm Deviant Dario. I'm Infinite One. I'm the Chance of the Conqueror. And you all have a wonderful night. Good night, everybody. Later. <laughs>